Hi everybody and welcome to Fab Tax. I'm Rosemary and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm excited to share more than 25 Dollar Tree Christmas gift baskets. Now I know that's a lot, but I also know that Dollar Trees and their supplies vary. And I wanted you to have plenty of options to choose from and plenty of samples to get ideas from. Now, in addition to these, I also wanted to offer 10 secrets of pro look gift baskets so that you can make a great looking gift basket from whatever you have available. I will be sharing these tips throughout the video, but I wanted to go through the first several uh, using the first sample, this salty snack gift mug. So I'll just start by taking the mug apart so that you can see the contents. So I've gotten these items from the Dollar Tree. They're Jack Link's jerky treats, as well as some of these wonderful pistachios. Now the thing that you notice most of all, and the most important thing about professional look gift baskets is that they are all color coordinated. That is the A number one most important thing to get a professional look. Now the next thing that um, these have is a unified theme. So these are all salty type snacks. The third thing I wanted to point out is that they're all name brand and kind of name brand higher end items. So they have a high quality or a high quality look. And that again is something that you will find in professional look baskets. So when you're at the Dollar Tree, try to find the named brand higher quality items. The next thing to consider is your container. And um, of course, first that it is color coordinated so that it fits the rest of your components, but then also uh, that it is the appropriate size to fit the components properly. You don't want it to be too big and you don't want it to be too small. And for this small gift item, this mug is a perfect container. Um, it again fits the color theme pr appropriately and then also is the right size to fit just these few items. Now the thing about buying your gift basket components from a retailer is that they are going to come in retail packaging. So professional look gift baskets will not have a retail packaging look. And by retail packaging, I mean like these little um, holes here at the top of the packages, which is for the retailer to put onto the hooks to display for sale. So if you can, um, try to remove the, the top there. Um, in this case here with the little jerky package, it's not going to work out. So I'll just leave that little hole there. But where I can remove it, I go ahead and remove that hole. Now when placing your items in the container, you want to put your smallest items to the front and then layer the taller items in the back. Now the best way to hold your components in place is to use some, either some double-sided tape or some glue dots. Both are available at the Dollar Tree but you'll see the double-sided tape more frequently than the glue dots. And so I'm gonna add a small piece of the double-sided tape to the front of the taller item, and then I can just place it in the container and adhere it to the smaller package in front. And then I'm just gonna continue placing the double-sided tape to the front of the uh, taller items and then placing them all into the container the same way. This allows me to decoratively put the different components um, into the container and then also to hold them in place when I put on the cellophane wrapping. But we will get to the wrapping a little further into the video. Right now let's get back to some more samples. For my next Dollar Tree gift item I'm going to be using this little tin from the Dollar Tree and also some of these cookie treats that I also got from the Dollar Tree. So first I'm going to just take the top of the tin and tape it to the bottom of the container. And then I'm going to take this brownie but, uh, brittle from Sheila G, again, a nice name brand product, remove that retail packaging, and then just add some Pyroline cookies, some of these Mrs. Fields cookies, a little container of Nutella uh, pretzels and Nutella dip, and then just to finish out that little space, um, one of these lint chocolate um, bars. And then here we have a little sweet treat Dollar Tree gift item. So for this next sample, I have another sweet treat and I'm again going to use one of these adorable tins from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to be doing gold tones and this one on the inside does have a gold finish on the inside. So I'm going to start with this Sheila G Brownie Brittle, which again, I'll remove the retail packaging from the top. And since that's the largest item, that's going to go to the back of my tin. And then I'm going to take my shortest item, although it is kind of large, it is short, um, and put that in the front of the uh, little tin. 
And then the uh, two chocolate bars to the side. One is Godiva. And yes, I did get this from the Dollar Tree. And again, using the double-sided tape, just attached it to the side of my brownie brittle. And now a Ghirardelli chocolate done the same way with the double-sided tape. And then it leaves just enough room for some of this Ferrer Rocher to add uh, to the front and finish off the little package. To hold the back of the tin in place, I'm going to just add a little tape to either side. I just held the back of the tin up and then just taped um, two pieces of tape, one to each side of the container. And then it becomes a little treasure chest filled with golden loot. Since I know that Dollar Tree will probably soon be running out of all those cute little holiday containers, I did want to show you some options using just everyday containers that you can get at the Dollar Tree year round, like this plastic organization container. So I just took the plastic organization container and uh, filled it with some of the red shred. And then I took two of these peppermint mochas that I got from the Dollar Tree and placed those to either side of the container. And then one of these Mrs. Fields boxes of cookies and then one packet of these shortbread cookies, they came four to a pack, and I just placed that behind the Mrs. Fields box. And then two of these Biscoff uh, cookies that come six to a package, and then that finishes off my little cookies and coffee gift set, which makes a great gift and comes in less than $5. For a smaller yet similar version, I used this coffee mug from the Dollar Tree, and then this Pyroline uh, tin of cookies, but I could have easily used the peppermint mocha there as well. And then just again, the shortbread and two of the Biscoffs. And then I'm going to just use some of the double sided tape to place the cookies uh, in uh, a decorative way. And then um, I can just add some cellophane at this point. And I have again, a great little gift. And this one will come in around $3. And again, you can see where that color coordination really makes a big difference. For this next sample, I'm going to be using uh, one of these plastic candy dishes from the Dollar Tree. They come in the party section, and then some of the red shred again. And then they have this wonderful peppermint crunch um, in this really pretty white and red and silver foil type packaging. And so Russell Stover also had some of the foil red and white packaging, which I um, just attached with some of the double-sided tape to the side of the larger bag. And then this adorable little light up color changing uh, white and kind of silver tree made a perfect accent to the candy and what a great gift again. Now I'm gonna switch gears a little bit and go towards some of the bath and spa items. And again, going with this color coordination, I have the smaller of these, these two, these tins come kind of in a larger size and a smaller size. This is the smaller size tin, and it's the one with the uh, snowflake blue bottom. And then I'm gonna take some of these Bolero blue uh, bath items, starting with this facial mask, and then some body scrub and body cream, and then also a facial scrub. And you can see how well they all go together and how well they fit into the container. But let's now go back to the drawing board and take a look at some of our wrap options. So the Dollar Tree has three gift basket wrap options. They have the regular gift basket bags, the shrink wrap bags, and then the roll of cellophane paper. The first option are these uh, gift basket bags that you can get from the Dollar Tree too for, uh, they come uh, two packages. Uh, but these are very large bags, and in addition to that, they come, uh, when you unfold them, they have all of these creases in them, and those creases stay on the package after you wrap it. So um, if you're going to use cellophane, I suggest just using the cellophane uh, roll that will not have any creases in it, and it'll be give a much more professional finish. But my favorite to use are actually the shrink wrap bags, and these only come one to a package, but they do include the uh, pull string bow, which is also a nice feature. But um, these, pack, these uh, shrink wrap bags are rather large as well. They are again, 24 by 30 inches, but you can cut them down. And the other thing that's neat about these is that all of this creasing will go away once you use your um, hair dryer to shrink wrap and then that'll remove all your creasing as well. So since it is so large, the next thing you definitely wanna do is cut it down to the appropriate size. So what I like to do is actually cut around the creases of the bag so that I create two separate sheets of shrink wrap, which works great for these types of flat tray sets. 
Then I just take my sheet and kind of further measure just about how big of a piece I'm going to need and then cut that out a little further. Then I just take some tape and tape the sheet to the bottom of my container, uh, folding it around, making some nice creases like I would a present, and then just tape it all underneath. Then I use my hair dryer set on a high setting and just begin uh, by kind of, on this case, I'm kind of starting where the uh, little body polish container is and then just blowing all around. I want to get the front pieces first because I want that to look as pretty as possible and then um, I'll go around to the bottom and to the sides to secure it even further. And then I'm going to use the little bow that comes with the packaging. You just pull those strings at the bottom and then pull it through and that creates a beautiful bow that you can add to your packaging. And now you have a Dollar Tree item that looks like something you purchased from Lush. Keeping with the bath items, I'm going to use this little serving tray from the party section of the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to just add some of the uh, white shred to the bottom. And then I'm going to take one of these foot mass packages from the vanilla sugar and raspberry collection from the Dollar Tree. And then also the uh, body wash. And then that was supposed to be body scrub. I bought the wrong thing there. I got the face wash instead. But um, and then also the body spray. And you can see where that makes a really pretty gift. And again, you can just do it with the same shrink wrap topping. Another option for that vanilla sugar and raspberry option is to use this. Uh, cosmetic bag also from the Dollar Tree it comes in these pretty white and cream and gold tones that go perfectly with that vanilla sugar and raspberry collection and then um, first I'm going to just use the paper facial mask so this will be uh, facial items from that collection so I'm going to use the paper facial mask and now the facial wash which is the proper place to put this uh, also a facial serum and a facial mist and then I'm going to go ahead and just add some of that double-sided tape to hold all the components in place. And then it just places the whole thing nicely in the bag. And I will show you in the next section how I will wrap that. So for this gift set, I'm going to actually use the slippers as the container. And so I'm again going to use one of these foot masks from the uh, Vanilla Sugar and Raspberry Collection. And then two of these nail polishes, also got from the Dollar Tree. And then one of these pedicure sets in pink from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take the pedicure set apart out of its packaging. And then I'm going to take some tissue paper and I'm going to put it in the bottom of each of the slippers. Then I'm going to use some of the double-sided tape to uh, attach the uh, little uh, toe separator from the pedicure set uh, to each side of my left slipper. And then also the little nail clipper and then a uh, one of the nail polishes. And then also with the other pieces of the pedicure set and the other nail polish to the top of the slipper and then add the vanilla sugar scrub foot mask in between. Then I'm going to take one of my shrink wrap gift bags, but this time I'm going to keep it intact. I'm not going to separate the two sides. And I'm going to line up the slippers on the bottom left side of the bag. Now I'm just going to cut the bag to size and then open up the bag and place the slippers inside. The left hand side will have a sealed edge on it, but I will have to wrap the uh, right hand side of the bag around to the bottom of the slippers to close that side off. Once the bottom and the sides were secure, I took my hair dryer again, set on high, and began to do the shrink wrapping to the bottom of the slippers. I didn't want to do the whole thing just yet because I wanted to get everything in place, including the bow, and um, make sure everything was where I wanted it to be before continuing with the shrink wrapping. So once the bow uh, was in place and tied in, I just uh, took some scissors and uh, cut off the excess on the top. Just give it a nice, um, neat finish on the top. And then holding the top down and in place, because um, if you let that shrink wrap go too strong, it's going to pull all your components down. So you want to keep that held back and in place. And then you can go ahead with your uh, blow dryer again and uh, set on high but gently going through and making sure that everything comes together nicely. 
And there you see the result is a very professional, high-end looking gift for about $5. And now we're going to switch to the scent lovers on your list. And so again, taking one of the smaller tins from the Dollar Tree and attaching the lid to the base with some tape, I'm going to add some of this Christmas tree uh, fragrance diffuser, as well as some of these uh, fragrance sachets to the back. And then I'm going to just use again, some of my double sided tape to attach the two components and keep them in place. And then I'm going to add this adorable little tartan plaid candle to the front. And then these are little uh, car hangers for little scents for your car. And so they came in that packaging to the there to the right. But I just took them out of the package and um, they came individually wrapped within that package and just added the, some tape to the back to hold the uh, plastic individual wrap in place. And then I'm going to take some of my double sided tape and arrange the little car uh scent holders in a uh, cascading fashion, fashion there along the side with the double-sided tape and the end result is a beautiful little scent basket for someone who loves scents on your list. For the next option I'm going to create a candle tower. So I'm going to use these adorable little uh, candles that I got from the Dollar Tree. They come in a uh, red and a white and a uh, green colors and then they come I believe it was like Christmas tree and I don't know, sugar plum and white snow or something like that. But anyway, they uh, come in those adorable little holders and I'm going to just tape all of these together. First, I put some double sided tape in between and then I'm going to add some of the um, just regular tape all along the sides to keep uh, to hold these all in place. Then I'm going to take some of this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree that has red and green print on it and I'm going to wrap the tower in the ribbon. So first I'm going to just attach uh, the ribbon to the top with some tape and then I'm going to add a little hot glue to hold it in place. And then once that glue is dry I'm going to add um, one of these poinsettias from a Dollar Tree poinsettia stem. Just add the greens first and then the red on top and it makes the perfect decoration for my candle tower. And here is a bonus fragrance tower using items that I actually purchased from Walmart. So this uses their little wax cubes that are $2, their $3 three wick candle, and then also the reed diffuser, which I think is about $1.25. So to make this tower, I will use the candle as the base and then attach the reed diffuser on top, just adding tape to the bottom to hold it in place. Next, I'm going to take the little wax cubes and using some of the double sided tape, I'm going to attach that to the top of the reed diffuser. Then I'm going to give it the same ribbon and poinsettia treatment that I gave the other tower. And here is another uh, option for all the scent lovers on your list. Now, I did have a bunch of options for all the little people on your list, but with the new COPPA restrictions, I don't believe I can show you anything that is toy related or anything that has images of cartoon characters, which of course all of these items did. I did, however, want to give you a heads up because there are a lot of great items at the Dollar Tree that can be used to make some really great gifts. For example, uh, this is a little block vehicle, these little block kind of characters that the kids could build different little uh, vehicles with. And then they have the little people that uh, drive in the vehicles. And um, anyway, if you get two of the vehicles and two of the people, they fit perfectly into one of the large Dollar Tree tents. Now this adorable snowflake tray is a perfect container for all of the wonderful little items that a, the Dollar Tree is carrying this year for a certain ice queen and her sister. Makes a wonderful container. And this little pink container is a wonderful container for all of the great um, items that a certain famous mouse's girlfriend has this year at the Dollar Tree. And then this little uh, makeup or cosmetic bag is a perfect a container for uh, uh, many, many little items that they have in the tween section of the Dollar Tree that they have now. And then this little dog bowl, wonderful, wonderful container for a certain rescue crew of canines that happens to have a plenty of things at the Dollar Tree. And then this uh, uh, plastic container is the perfect container for uh, a variety of different 
items featured and Dollar Tree is carrying from a famous crown maker that would make a great gift for the little person on your list. But sadly, that is all I can share with you regarding those items and hopefully it does help you to find some things for the little ones on your list. Now there are some items for the babies on your list that I can show you and that would be of course for our fairy friends including all these wonderful color coordinated items include uh, starting with this rose gold dog bowl and then all of the color coordinated bones and treats that uh, match so well uh, and go together just beautifully uh, to give our little furry friends a little treat on Christmas as well. And of course we can't forget our feline friends and Dollar Tree has this adorable little uh, ball track that um, comes in a wonderful blue and green color which matches wonderfully with this Nine Lives little um, bag of treats and a couple of toys in blue and green as well come together to make a beautiful little gift for the kitty cat in your life. And now back to the humans in your life. So uh, Dollar Tree had these great cheesecake mixes and of course they always have the little graham cracker crust. So combine that with one of these mixing bowls with a spout in red and then a red and white uh, dish towel and then add a little whisk to the side and you have yourself a great little gift for anyone who likes to bake on your list. Keeping the cooks in mind, I found this wonderful cookbook at the Dollar Tree. It's beautifully illustrated, just a dollar, unbelievable. And then I took one of these uh, cutting boards from the Dollar Tree. And then to add a little extra something, I picked up these two uh, street kitchen uh, kits from Walmart. Now these are only $3 each. They look really high end and uh, all together make a terrific gift for the cook on your list. And what cook, let alone what person, doesn't love pasta? So um, I took one of these Dollar Tree colanders and then added some pasta. Now, I actually got the pasta from Walmart, but of course Dollar Tree does sell pasta as well. And then I took a Dollar Tree pasta server and added that to the back. And then I did take a uh, jar of sauce from Walmart, but again, Dollar Tree sells sauce. And then you also have uh, the... Uh, grated cheese from the Dollar Tree and then again a little dish towel to the front and it makes a great gift for a cook or anyone who enjoys pasta on your list. Now what goes better with pasta than wine and this little uh, gift set makes a great gift for the wine lover on your list. These little bags are terrific as gift bags but they also make a great little uh, kind of dressing for your wine bottle on the table. You see that quite often now. And then you also have the little wine um, uh, corks and then also a cork screw and put it in the little Dollar Tree tree and wrap it up and you have a wonderful gift for the wine lover on your list. So maybe it's not wine, but margarita lovers that you have on your list. Well, for them, I took this a basket weave container and filled it with brown shred. Then I took a Dollar Tree cutting board because you're going to need to cut up those limes and um, added a couple of these beautiful margarita glasses that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then a bottle of this margarita mix that I purchased for $3 at Walmart. I added to the top of the margarita glasses some chili lime peanuts. I'll just do that with some shrink wrap and there you have a beautiful gift. And for the Bloody Mary lovers, I took a bottle of this Bloody Mary mix, again from Walmart, for $3. And then two of these uh, tall glasses from the Dollar Tree that I filled with the red shred. And then I just took some regular tape and taped the glasses and the, uh, to the bottle of the margarita mix. I did one strip around kind of the middle and then another strip about an inch below that. And then this will just hold all the pieces together and um, enable me to do the shrink wrap a lot easier when I get to that part. Then I just took a couple packs of the Sriracha cashews that I again got from Dollar Tree and just added those to the tops of the glasses. Lastly, I just added a little knife from the Dollar Tree here in red to um, add to the 
to the set uh, so that we can cut up all of our veggies for the Bloody Marys. Another option using the beautiful glassware from the Dollar Tree is to uh, again tape together two of their really large and gorgeous beer glasses. And I did this the same way I just did the other um, glasses to the Bloody Mary bottle. And then I just took one of these Anderson uh, uh, peanut butter filled pretzels, added some skewers to the back, and then I'm going to just place that to the back of the two glasses. And then using some of the double-sided tape again, I just attached two of the Jack Lynx products um, and again uh, some of the double-sided tape to the back of these almonds. I'm going to attach those, place those in place, and then lastly just the pistachios again using the double-sided tape to attach it to uh, the other items. And there again, a beautiful gift. How about some cheese and crackers for the holidays using this marble plate, crostini crackers, and Martinelli sparkling cider, all from the Dollar Tree. And then I got this brie cheese wheel from uh, Aldi for $3. And of course, that needs to be refrigerated, so this would either be, need to be refrigerated or added at the last minute. And then some Ferrero Rocher chocolate from the Dollar Tree, all coming together to create a great gift for under $10. Have any snack lovers on your list? What about this snack serving bowl from the Dollar Tree filled with some red shrimp? Add to that a bag of the Pennsylvania Dutch pretzels and then a bag of the Friday's potato skins and a bag of the rice snack crackers and then some of the David Brand pumpkin seeds and a, a can of the planters peanuts and then to each side a box of Cracker Jacks. To complete the set, add a few of the Dollar Tree snack clips and you have yourself a wonderful gift for the snack lover. And these last two are actually Walmart bonuses, but they were such a good value. I just wanted to include them. And um, all of these items here are from Walmart. They all are a dollar under except for the cookie mix, which was, I believe, a dollar 42. So I just took the bowl full of shred and then added that adorable serving plate to the back. And then took the Funfetti cook mi uh, cookie mix and added it to the little matching mitt. And then this little spatula and spoon set, I believe was only a dollar for all three. And then the wonderful little mixing spoons and cups also to the side. And then that matching um, dish towel and you have a wonderful little set for about $8. And then for a smaller version of that would just be to add the cookie mix to the mitt and add the set of spoons and spatulas to the back of the mitt. And again, you have a nice little uh, gift that comes in at about $3. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this Dollar Tree Christmas gift basket DIY and found the 10 pro tips helpful in making your own Christmas gift sets this season. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give a thumbs up and please share with any family and friends you think would also enjoy this video. Please let me know in the comments if you plan on making any of these gift sets and which one was your favorite. If you're not already a subscriber and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.